Children of God, praise the Lord. God has done so much, and we need to give him thanks for what he has done. Children of God, we are going to go into prayers. We're going to go into prayers, whether you are viewing us from uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, or Zoom. I'd like you to reverence God even as we pray this moment. We're going to begin with a prayer of confession. We're going to confess all our sins all the sins that we have committed. We are going to tell God we are sorry, we regret committing those sins, and uh, believe him just as he has said in his word in uh, uh, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, that if we confess our sins, that he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Believe God that he has said his word, and then he is going to perform his word in your life. We are going to take Two minutes, two minutes to confess our sins to God. And at the end of that confession, I'd like to invite uh, Pastor Samson Kinsley to conclude his prayer for us in another two minutes. So let's bow our heads as we confess all our sins before God and believe that he will answer us. So let's bow our heads as we pray that prayer.
let's begin to round off our confession and thank God for the blessing. Azuma. May the Lord hear our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pastor Samson Kinsley, can you render this prayer for us in the next two minutes? Our dependable Father in heaven, we thank you so much for yet another privilege. We thank you for the long for us. First in all our sins knowingly committed and our sins unknowingly committed, pleading that you have mercy upon us. We pray in a special way that you forgive us all our sins and attend to our supplications. Help us this evening that our gathering together, but rather we shall find in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor Kinsley, for that prayer. God bless you. Children of God, like I said, our prayer topic this evening is give thanks for what God has done. Give thanks for what God has done. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7 tells us that be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the God of peace, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. And uh, Paul continues to tell us the importance of thanksgiving even in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. He says, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ for you. Uh, Paul tells us here that uh, in every circumstance, we need to give thanks to God, whether in the valley time, whether in the mountain time, whether in the good times, whether in the bad time, Paul tells us to give thanks to God, to rejoice always. And as Christians, Christians are supposed to be the happiest people in the world. We need to rejoice because God has given us a reason to rejoice, to give thanks for all that he has done for us. God has done so much for us, and we are going to be spending time thanking him for all the things that he has done for us. The psalmist tells us in Psalms chapter Psalm 7, uh, stanza 17, that I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of your wonderful deeds. The psalmist says he's going to give thanks with all of his heart. And I don't know how many of us are ready to give thanks to God with all of our hearts because God has done wonderful things. The psalmist says, I will tell of your wonderful deeds. I don't know what God has done for you, but as I look at this year, as the year begins to draw closer and closer to the end, I see so many things that God has done for us. God has done for us as a mission. God has done for us as a people. God has done so much. And I see reason to tell of all the wonderful deeds of God in this year 2023. The psalmist continues to tell us in Psalm 95, stanza one, stanzas 1 to 3, he says, Oh, come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, a great king above all gods. Children of God, God is a great king. And we cannot deny that fact. We can, we can, we can just be happy. We we, we, we should just be happy at uh, the, the God we serve. The God we serve is a wonderful God. He has done marvelously well. And we should break forth in songs of praise, joyful noise, making this joyful noise to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. He has done so much for us. The children of God, I'd like to tell us that giving thanks to God 
is a great way to honor him. And it makes us draw closer to him. It's, it, 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 it is easy as human beings. That, that, that's the truth. It's easy as human beings to give thanks in the good times. But it becomes difficult to give thanks to God in bad times. But Paul, as we earlier read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18, tells us that both in good times, we should give thanks to God. Yes, you expected something and it didn't come. Yes, you need to give thanks. Maybe God had kept it for a better time so that you can see more of the, the manifestations of his power. So give thanks to God at all times. It is very important to be thankful to God because when you are thankful to God, it's like an application for more. Children of God, yesterday, we had a wonderful time for those of us who were here. Um, the man of God, Pastor Emmanuel Ahamefula, took us in yesterday's episode and he told us the reason to give thanks to God for who he is. Yes. But today, we want to give thanks to God for what he has done. Yesterday, we called God by different names. But today, we want to see how God has manifested these names in our lives, how we have witnessed these names in our lives. And you bear me witness, when you look around yourself, you see that God has done so much for you that you need to thank him tonight. So children of God, today we are going to be thanking God. We are going to be praising him for what he has done. And then I believe that God is going to inhabit the praises of his people. He's going to receive our thanksgiving and he's going to do great and wonderful things in our lives. Yes, um, we, we, we can see God's miracles all around us in his church this year. As we are going to go into the prayer section, I'm going to be listing in for those who may have forgotten what God has done for us as a field this year. What God has done for us, helped us to accomplish this year, wonderful things he has done for us, uh, protections he has granted us, and different things that God has done in our lives. I want you to turn your heart to God as we thank God this evening. We are going to go into a prayer section. This prayer section will be more of thanksgiving. We are thanking God for all that he has done. And before we go into that prayer session, I'd like us to sing this, this hymn, the Seventh Adventist hymn now, um, 528, a shelter in the time of storm. At the end of that song, we are going to be thanking God, praying a prayer of thanksgiving to God for protection. God has protected us this year. And in the book of Proverbs 18, verse 10, it says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. We have witnessed this in this year as a field, that we go out and we come in in safety. There are some, some who you were involved in accidents and then God miraculously saved their lives. That's the power of God, the protection that God has granted to his people in this year. And we need to thank him for that. So we are going to sing that song, A Shelter in a Time of Storm. After that song, we are going to thank God for the protection he has granted us this year. We are going to be praying that prayer after that song, the first answer of that song. We're going to be praying that prayer for, for three minutes, and at the end, I will invite Pastor Emmanuel Mark Ahamefula to round off this prayer for us. A prayer of thanks to God for his protection throughout this year. So let's sing that song.
So let's bow heads as we thank God for his protection over us. Let's be in the round of our prayers as we thank God for protection that He has uh, granted us this year. Mighty rock in a weary land, cool in shade on the burning sun, faithful guide for the pilgrims band, a shelter in the time of storm. Pastor Emmanuel Mark, please can conclude this prayer of thanksgiving for us. Children of God, let's pray. Our gracious and everlasting Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the God who created the heavens and the earth in six literal days and rested on the seventh day, the God of the Sabbath, the God who is, who was, and who is to come. We come before you. We bow before your throne of mercy. We are thanking you for how you have led us as a church. We are thanking you, Father, for the security you have granted unto us. We are thanking you for all the programs, for the success. We are thanking you, Father, for even Hope Channel Evangelism for the success of that program. We are thanking you, Father, for 400 for years centenary celebration the success of it, Father, we give you glory, we give you honor. We are thanking you individually. We are thanking you as a church. We are thanking you as a family for the security that you have provided. We say, may your name alone be highly exalted. Our dear God in heaven, 
as a church and a mission, Lord, we appreciate you for what you have done before us, for your church to be in this reverend territory by Elsa for 50 years now. We are celebrating and we say thank you. Be that exalted, be that glorified for who you are, O oh Lord. At this moment, Lord, we pray and we plead with you that may you continue to grant us your Holy Spirit, continue to empower us to do your work, continue to show your mercy and your grace are continue to abide. Thank you, great Jehovah, for hearing our prayers. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor, for that uh, prayer. Children of God is a good thing to thank the Lord. I thank the Lord for his protection, and uh, God will continue to protect us. Uh, Children of God, we also want to thank God today for the healing that he has granted us. So many of us, we have been sick this year, but God has been merciful to us. He has healed us. He has granted us good health. It is something worthy of thanksgiving. It's something we need to thank God for. Healing that he has granted us, uh, good health he has granted us, we need to thank God for this. We are going to read, I'm going to read from Psalms uh, 107, stanza 20, which says that the word of God says that he sent his word and he healed them. God has sent his word this year and he has healed us by his word. Pro, um, Psalm 30, stanza 2, uh, the Bible tells us that, O oh Lord, my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. In this year, you have cried out to God and the Lord has healed you. Since the Lord has healed you, it's time for you to thank God for the healing that he has done in your life. We are going to take this song by the uh, Mon. I am the Lord that healed thee. I sent my word and I heal your disease. I want you to join us as we do this song together. Let's do this song together, praising God for the healing that he has granted us. I am the Lord, your healer. I going to do this prayer of thanksgiving to God for the healing, the health that he has granted us. God has healed us spiritually, physically. We need to thank him. And at the end of this prayer, I'd like to invite uh, Pastor A.C. Robinson to conclude this prayer of thanksgiving to God for his healing, for the healing he has granted us this year. Uh, we, were going, we are going to pray for three minutes 
and then Pastor A.Z. Robinson is going to use three minutes to conclude the prayer. Prayer of thanksgiving for, for the healing that he has granted us. Some have been sick this year. God healed them. We need to thank God for the healing that he has granted us. Let's bow as we pray. of God, God has done wonderfully well for us and we need to thank him. Let's begin to round off our prayers as uh, Pastor Izzy Robinson prepares to conclude this uh, prayer of thanksgiving for us. Prayer of thanksgiving for healing. For healing. May the Lord hear and answer our prayer of thanksgiving for his healing in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Izzy. Excellent Jehovah, the creator of the whole world, the creator of mankind, Jehovah who has given us the privilege and joy of being alive today, the almighty Yahweh who has sustained breath in us till this moment. For every favor you brought our way today, we glorify you. O oh God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, O oh God of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the only wise God, be thou glorified. We come before you at this point to thank you especially for the healings that you brought our way this year. For the healings you granted unto our fathers, we say thank you. For healings upon our mothers, we say thank you. For healings upon our children, we say thank you. For healing upon every member of our congregation and families. Oh God, we glorify your name. Some were sick 
as a result of their lifestyles, but you heal them. Some were sick as a result of the manipulations of the evil one, but you healed them. Some were sick for reasons they do not know, but you came through for them. And that is why we gather as a church, as one family, to thank you for all this, because we do recognize that you are the one who has healed us. Oh God, your word is clear that by your stripes we are healed. Your word is clear that you sent your words and we are healed. Oh God, our great physician, we say thank you. Thank you for every form of healing you have brought our way. Even in this special prayer, we remember those who may still be sick. And because we recognize that you are our great physician, we believe in our hearts that you will also heal them and raise them up from their sick beds, that they may glorify and worship you all the days of our lives. Father, having healed us, draw us closer. Draw us closer to yourself that we will remain healthy at all times. Once again, thank you for this privilege of prayer. Take all the glory for hearing and answering our prayers since we prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor, for that prayer. I believe that uh, our healings are permanent. God has given us a reason to celebrate and the affliction shall not rise up the second time. So I'd like to assure you, um, my very elder, and maybe that your healing is permanent. Pastor Zobu, your healing is permanent. Pastor Kristen Adindo, your healing is permanent. Pastor Emmanuel Mark, your healing is permanent. Pastor Obuweni Mike, your healing is permanent. Shepherdess Oge Chichi Somadindo, your healing is permanent. Pastor Dixon, your healing is permanent. Pastor Samson Kinsley, your healing is permanent. Pastor Obioma Sunday, your healing is permanent. God has done it. We have thanked him, and it shall be so in our lives in the name of of Jesus Christ. Can I hear you say amen in the comment section? God bless you. God bless you. We will still continue to thank God for all that he has done. God has helped us this year. God has truly helped us this year. And we need to thank him for all the help that we have received from God this year. We need to thank him for all the help that we have received from God. God has been our Ebenezer. Thus far, the Lord has helped us this year. The, the children of Israel, when they cried unto the Lord, and then the Lord heard them. And Samuel in, in 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12, made a monument to show that God has truly helped them. In 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12, it says, Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen, and called his name Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. For those who will recall very well, you will understand that God has truly helped us as a mission this year. In all of our spiritual and even physical projects, God has helped us this year. In this year, God has helped us to accomplish the fencing project. God has helped us God helped us during the January evangelism. God helped us during the May-June evangelism. God helped us during the August-September evangelism and the festival of baptism. God has helped us recently in this Hope Channel International evangelism. God has helped us to win souls for him this year. God has helped us to plant new churches this year. God has helped us to build personages this year. God has helped us to build churches this year. God has helped us to acquire properties this year. These are so many things that God helped us to accomplish this year. And we need to thank God for what he has done for us. We are going to be spending 
um, two minutes, two minutes to thank God for all these things that I've mentioned. And in your life, you know the things that God has helped you to accomplish this year. You need to thank him for the help that you have received from God. The help that you have received from God, you need to thank him for all that he has done for you. So we are going to take two minutes to, to, to do this prayer, to thank God for this prayer. And we're going to sing from uh, Seventh Adventist hymn now, 103. Oh God, I help in ages past. And then we'll go into the prayer. And at the end of that prayer, I would like to invite Pastor Obioma Sunday to conclude this prayer for us. So thank God for all the things that he has helped us to accomplish this year. Let's sing that song. Oh God, I help in ages past. I oh. Sufficient is thine of our and our defense is sure before the hills in order stood all as we see the from everlasting thou art God to endless is the same a thousand ages in thy sight are like an evening God Shut as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. Oh God, I help in ages past. I hope for years to Let's thank God for all the help that we have received from God. At the end, Pastor Obioma Sunday will round off this prayer of thanksgiving for us.
Let's begin the round of our prayers. It's a good thing to thank the Lord. And the Lord hear our prayer of thanksgiving for all the helps that he has uh, rendered to us this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pastor Obiama Sunday. Father, King of glory, the Holy One of Israel, we thank you so much this hour when we look back to see how you have helped us. We thank you because without you coming to our rescue, we wouldn't have been able to do anything. We thank you, and that is why we will exclaim like the psalmist, when we look up to the hill, where will our help come from? Our help will only come from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. This year, Lord, you proved that you are a real help. When we are handicapped without resources, we cried upon you, you supplied. When we had projects to execute, to lack wisdom, we cried, you supply help. Father, even when we are so much out of ideas, when we are not even protected in every situation of hopelessness, you never allowed us to perish. You never allowed us to remain there. You came to our rescue and brought us out of those challenges, out of those difficulties. We thank you. We are grateful unto you and we remain indebted unto you for your great help that you have rendered to us this year. We had projects, O oh Lord, in which we executed. We had spiritual projects in the evangelism programs, witnessing programs. Lord, you were our help. When we called upon you because of the weather, you intervened. Because of equipment, you intervened. Because of anything that we lacked, you brought. When we called upon you also concerning all the people we are witnessing to, you intervened. So we had souls we brought to you. During the prayer time, the network, and you were there to make sure that the network didn't stop us from praying to make sure that our gadgets didn't stop us from praying. You have been our help all round. We give you glory. We say, may your name be highly exalted, glorified and magnified. You have been our help in the past. You are still our help today. And you will be our help forever and ever. We shall never get to any other place. Thank you for volunteering to be our help and have been helping us. Thank you because you will remain our help. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor, for that prayer. I believe that God is, uh, is just receiving our thanksgiving today. And then I believe that he is going to do more for us. I want to assure you that uh, as this year uh, is winding down, um, I'd like to assure you that miracles that you have not received as a result of your thanksgiving today, God is going to release that miracle, that breakthrough, that opportunity for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we are going to pray. We're going to pray a prayer of thanksgiving still. We are going to thank God for the peace that he has granted us. As a, a nation, as a state, as a church, God has granted us his peace. And also, we are going to thank God for the provisions that he has made for us. God has provided. His word in Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, has been fulfilled in our lives. He says, and my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. We have experienced that scripture in our lives. And then God has also granted us the promise that he, he gave to us in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 9, that he has given us his peace that passes all understanding. And this peace has, we have witnessed it in our lives, in our hearts, in our homes, in our churches, in Nigeria, even in Bayesa State, is worthy of thanksgiving. So we are going to spend um, two minutes to thank God for that. And then at the end, I am going to conclude 
that uh, prayer of thanksgiving. But we're going to do this song, um, um, Peace, Peace, Wonderful Peace from the Father Above, SDH 4, some of the Adventist hymn now, 466, just the first stanza. Far away in the depths of my, my spirit tonight, rose a melody sweeter than sound. In celestial life, strains it on seasonally falls. For oh, my soul, I like can infinite come. Peace, peace, wonderful peace, coming down from the Father above. Sweet of God. Let's spend the next two minutes to thank God for the peace he has given to us and the provisions that he has made for us. Let's begin the round of our prayers. Thanking God for his peace and his provision. May the Lord hear our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for uh, you have done so much for us. You have done so much for us that we cannot help but just say thank you. Lord, you have granted us peace, peace in our hearts, in our homes, and the church in Nigeria, in Bayesa State. Lord, thank you for this peace. Lord, thank you for the provisions that you have also made for all of us. There were times when we didn't know where the next meal will come from, but Lord, you have you have showed up. You showed up mightily. In terms of provisions for our children to go to school, different things that you have made provisions for, for your church, Lord, we say thank you. Lord, be thou exalted, be thou glorified, be thou magnified. Thank you, oh God, thank you. We just say thank you for all that you have done for us. Be exalted now and forevermore. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Children of God. We thank God for all that he has done for us this year. And I'd like to assure you that God has just begun with us. He's going to do great and wonderful things in our lives before the end of this year and even beyond to the glory of his name. I'd like to assure you that God will continue to bless us in these 50 days of prayer as we 
as we come to his presence every night, God is going to bless us. And he's going to do much more than we even think or imagine in our hearts. I'd like us to um, sing as a way of closing from SDH 6 to 5. We're going to do the first and the last stanza. And then I will give us a word that we are going to take home and then uh, sleep tonight. The word of God that is going to give us assurance of his presence in our lives. I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights and gain, mean every day, still praying as I'm on the world bound, Lord bound my feet on higher ground, Lord lift me up and I shall stand. My faith on hand, unstable land, I have been that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to scale the utmost height and catch a glimpse of glory bright, but still I pray, till heaven I found, Lord lead me unto higher ground, Lord lift me up, and I shall stand, my faith on heaven, stable land, a higher plain, that I have found, Lord, plant my feet on high ground. Amen. The Lord shall plant our feet on higher ground. The word of God says in Psalm 3, stanza 3, say, But you, O Lord, I shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. Children of God, I like to assure you that God is our glory and he is the lifter of our head. The Lord shall lift you up and establish you on a higher ground. Can I hear you say amen on the comment section? Tomorrow is another time with the Lord. We are going to be here to pray, to, to thank God and to ask for his blessing even in our lives and in our field. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. I remain your humble servant, Pastor Gift Ozobe. And uh, with me this evening that anchor the program is Pastor Obioma Sunday. We'd like to have you tomorrow again. God bless you for now. See you again tomorrow. Thank you.